Welcome back to an episode of Minecraft Iron Man. <laughs> As always, this is Jason, and I've been thinking about what I'm going to do regarding the need for Enderman, and uh, what I think I've decided to do is build a spawning room. Um, it's going to be a little bit interesting. I don't know, I don't know how well it's going to work. Um, something I haven't tested. I haven't actually looked to see if anyone's done it. I'm sure plenty of people have made Enderman spawning rooms. Uh, but I don't know if the way I want to do it's going to work or not. What I'm going to do is I'll make a dark room. I've already started making a little stairway up here. Um, <clears throat> get one up here and we'll we'll look at it. <laughs> look at a stairway. Uh, what I've done is I'm I'm just gonna make a, a dark room up here. That's three high, and then I'm gonna have um, like escape routes on all corners of it, I guess, that are too high, um, so that other mobs can leave basically and then I'm gonna check it every so often and see if there's any intermittent in it. Um the reason I'm doing it so high up here is I'm hoping that the other mobs will fall and die. Um see let's I feel like I'm playing Skyblock at the moment now with all this cobblestone and uh so high up in the air here and I'm nervous as hell about just falling and dying. Um Okay, here we go. So and from here, basically, I'm going to make a big, just a square uh, room. Spawning pad thing, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, I don't know the best way to do this, but I'm just going to trial and error it, I guess. Um, I'm going to make it 8x8. Eight 1, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Eight by eight on the floor, that is. So. And I'm going to need some more blocks, I'm pretty sure. But. I'll have to get that in a minute. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, so eight there. Um. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So that's how big the room's going to be. It's not going to be that big. It's just going to be a little tiny little room here. And I'm hoping that that's going to be big enough for some stuff to spawn in. I mean, honestly, I think it's going to work pretty well because we're out here in the middle of the ocean where nothing can really spawn. Um... So I think we've got a pretty good spot for something like this. Um, but I need I need bricks. So I'm going to go farm a bunch of bricks. And I'll be back once I've got this kind of built here. I feel like I should show you this massive <laughs> hole I've dug here to, uh, to get stone. Uh, I've gone through two iron picks to do it. Um, yep, that was just, that was not there before. <laughs> just dug down here and hey, it's dark outside now um, yeah the reason why I wanted so much stone is because not only do I want to make this room up here but I also want to make like safety rails and stuff because I'm really nervous about going up and down and not falling um, so yeah I'm, I'm making uh, going all out with it <laughs> but that's that's that I just wanted to show you the hole I've been digging uh, I'm going to get back out of here and I'll update you guys once I have an actual room up there alright we have a room here it's dark, and the only way through the holes is if you're too high. <clears throat> Actually, the room's not dark. It's going to be there. Doesn't seem very dark, does it? At all. Like, where's the light coming from? That's strange. Um, let's get some dirt here. 
<laughs> I hope it's dark in there. Um, let's go down to the ground and see what happens. And uh, that's my fancy little walkway we have there. Hey, it's an eclipse. Um, and I made one here too. And I have no idea if that's going to work or not. I mean, it's not a very big area for things to spawn to begin with. Uh, but we're going to find out what happens here. Nothing. <laughs> a bunch of nothing's happening. <clears throat> like, the idea is to uh, kind of leave it alone. Let stuff happen on its own. And uh, then every so often go up there and kill the Endermen that are inside. You know what I could have done is got all fancy and put like pistons around the, the sea there. So that I could close it up um, when I go up there. So that uh, there's no way for me to fall out while I fight the Endermen that are inside. Assuming there are Endermen inside. Like, that's the only spot things can spawn in this area, unless there's caves. So I would think that it would work pretty well. Um, but who knows? I could be wrong. <laughs> you know, it doesn't look very square. I thought it was an 8x8 spawning pad, but it doesn't look like it's very square. Honestly. Um, and apparently this wasn't lit up well enough either. I was walking up there and a creeper come flying down at me. I jumped down the water though and shot him with my arrows, which I didn't farm very many arrows. I got a stack. Um, I need to go back to farming them, but uh, I had to uh, close Minecraft so I could render some video and stuff. Ugh, nothing's falling out of there. I want things to fall out of there. Let's go up there and peek in, see what we see. I mean, I didn't expect things to just flood out of there, but I did kind of expect more than what I'm getting. More than zero, <laughs> I guess is what I was expecting. This is a big elaborate uh, construction here for it to do nothing. Hmm. Nothing. Now I wonder if... Uh, I don't think the light down there is affecting it, but I wonder if the light on top of it is a problem. Like, what if this light's kind of seeping in? Let's get rid of these torches and see what happens. Um, I could put half slabs up here. In fact, that's probably what I should do before I even get rid of these, because then next time I come up here, there's going to be mobs up here. I won't be able to put anything up here. So I'm going to make some half slabs and try again. Let's close that up. I want to jump off of here into the water, but I'm so scared I'm going to miss, so I just don't. <laughs> just take the stairs. I'd love to see a mob fly out of the sky right about now. Like Superman. Super mob. When I made this stairway up here too, because I just kept coming up and down, and it was taking a while. Like I said, this is an elaborate construction for it not to do anything. That would make me very sad. And I'm sure you guys will tell me exactly what I've done wrong here. Uh, whoa. Kind of close there. It's probably not enough half slabs. That's the thing when you do like a block estimation, you're never right. You're never even close to right. And I can already tell I'm way off. I thought it'd be kind of close, but no. Not even. Not even close. I 
I mean, I guess I should assume you got an eight by eight area. That's that's already sixty four. Yep, dumbass. It's all right there. Hmm. Someone said just make a three by three room, and eventually they would spawn in there. But uh, I don't know. Hmm. I feel as if my my thing has failed here. Should be more than enough. Well, that smoke that flew through my face there scared me. <laughs> scared of the smoke. Don't be afraid of the smoke. Get up from the fucking stairs. I really doubt it's these these lights up here that's causing a problem, but uh, just to be 100% certain that that's not the case, I'm just gonna take care of it here. I, mean, I guess I could have waited to the day and just tested it without covering it in half slabs, and then it would have been it been light up here without the uh, <laughs> without the torches. I better have enough half slabs. If I don't, I'll be pissed off. I bet I don't. Okay, 32 more. That should probably be enough, actually. It's not gonna be. Oh, it's not gonna be. Okay, yeah, it will be. <laughs> it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be. Yeah, it's gonna be. Okay. This is all half slabbed up. Alright, yep, okay. Oh, some fall damage there. Peek inside. You know, I wonder if, uh, if I'm gonna have to close that up like that. I bet I am. Damn it, I hate it. I hope, I hope not. Let's go see if this does anything down here. I bet it... Oh man, I bet I have to close that up. If so, I'm going to use pistons to do it so that I can reopen it. Like open it every so often or something? I don't know. I don't know what to do. This, this, this elaborate plan here is turned into an elaborate failure. I want to stop recording for a minute here and just let it run and see what see what happens. All right, it's been about ten minutes here. I've chopped down all the trees and replanted, and uh, I'm gonna go up here and check. I haven't seen any mobs fall out. I'm gonna go up there and look in the room and see what I see, and cry myself to sleep. I have a feeling that the light from the ground is messing it up, and I've been thinking while I chopping down trees, while I chopping, <laughs> while I was chopping down trees to try to figure out what I would do to fix that and I uh, think what I'm gonna do if it is in fact the case well first I'm gonna test it I'm gonna fill the, the little rim in do a little rim job on it um, and see yeah there's nothing in here so let's uh let's fill this in This is the problem. I can already tell a difference in the light levels. An extreme difference in the light levels, in fact. Um, oh, shit. Okay, let's give that a few minutes and then check it and see, see if we see anything different here. So I have a feeling that's the problem. And if so, I don't necessarily have to do the whole thing I was talking about with pistons. What I could do is, um, close that next part in, and, um, then do like a water pathway that pushes, pushes any mobs that fall through, down and out, 
um, because no Enderman can fall in there anyway, so there won't be any uh, won't be any Enderman from the water or whatever. I wonder if uh, I think you have to actually kill Enderman with your fists in order to get. See, now that I'm saying that, I don't think that's true, though. I wonder if you can just make a mob grinder where you kill Enderman with water and get Ender Pearls. I wonder if that's possible. For some reason, I feel like you need to kill Enderman with your fists in order to get... Or your fists, but, you know, with your... like, yourself in order to get Ender Pearls, but I bet that's not the case. Because, I mean, that would be the only mob in the game that you had to, um, that you couldn't grind. Which I mean, it's possible, but I don't think it is. I don't. I feel like I'm. I'm making shit up now. <laughs> Why are you making shit up, man? All right, let's. No, it hasn't been that long, but I think I have a feeling that I'm gonna have mobs in there now. It's been a lot of walking up and down this episode. <laughs> This episode brought to you by Stairmaster. Yep. So it was only one mob, but it was more than zero. So that tells me the problem is the, uh, the light from outside that's messing it up here which sucks Ugh. Hmm. which means I'm gonna need to uh, probably should just stop doing this I'm gonna need to get a bunch more stone to fix this so I'm gonna just uh, leave this closed up here and hope some intermittent spawn while I'm gathering stone. So I'll be back. <laughs> Room. Sit there and spawn intermittent. I'll be back with you guys in a minute too. Okay, I feel the need to share my massive digging for no reason again. <laughs> this is just the most huge space has been dug here in order to make this tiniest mob harvester ever created so just had to share that all right back all right let's peek inside here see what we got an empty room that's what we got man what the fuck stupid mob room that doesn't work like how are there zero spawns in here right now that doesn't make any sense to me at all it was dark up here. So it's the only place in the world mobs can spawn in loaded chunks other than caves. Like, something should have spawned up here. I would think. Unless I was too far away. I mean, I guess that's possible. I don't really know, honestly. I'm confused. I probably could have found and killed 100 Endermen by now. There's the floor. I need to go down. So there's one block. Right here. So there's the floor. Right here is the right height I need to be at. Okay, so I'm underneath the damn thing now. Alright. <clears throat> so mobs fall in here. I'm just basically gonna make a little funnel here that funnel them out. be dark. <clears throat> It'll be dark in there, in theory, and 
and still get the mobs to come out. So if there's water here, see if I have that block right there. One, two, three, four. Fuck, I'll figure it out later. <laughs> Hopefully this works. If not, it will be the biggest waste of time ever recorded in Minecraft history. I should light this up before I leave to go get water. Because <clears throat> I don't want to come back up here and have freaking mobs in my face. I can put water here at least. Okay, so that's going to go to there. Hmm. Let's get some more water. <laughs> then we'll figure out how to make this work right. Put some torches down. There's probably gonna be mobs right here when I come back. I just know it. spawn and kill me here. I'm gonna make an infinite spring too just so I don't have to worry with the water anymore. Alright. So now then I'm trying to think the best way to do this here. I'm going to make a little pressure plates, I suppose. I don't know if shifting on a pressure plate works. That's why I was uh, very cautious there. Um. I don't know how far away from there I need to go. Let's go eight. One, two, three. Damn it. I'm <laughs> blocking myself out here. Alright. Um let's put that there. Okay. Hopefully they'll get pushed all the way over to there. I'm hoping. This is all very experimental here. Ugh. <laughs> I think it's gonna fucking fail. I have no way of knowing though until I test it, so test it we shall. Let's uh, throw something in it. No, that didn't work. See, that's not going to work because it's going to just hit the pressure plate over there and it's going to stop. Whatever. Let's, uh, let's go up here and take the fucking torches out and see what happens, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know if this is... This whole thing might just be just <laughs> an exercise in wasting time. Pressure plate that I threw down there is probably sitting. Yep, sitting right there. Okay, that's what I thought it would be doing. Um, let's get out here and close it up in there. Now it's all dark and shit in there. Let's see what happens. Please work. Please, please, please. Certainly hope it works. It's enough effort into something for it to be a complete waste of time. If I just see one mob fall out of there, it's going to make me happy.
should be able to figure out kind of where. So they're probably going to fall like right here on this tree. But the rain should kind of tell me where the, everything ends at here. Yeah, based on the rain, they should hit about right here, if it works. Huh. I guess we should have to sit here and be patient. I'm going to stop recording, and we'll give it some time. We'll see, guys. Alright, it's been a while now. I haven't seen a single mob fall from up there. I'm very sad. I have a feeling this thing is a waste of time. <laughs> and I cannot wait to hear you guys let me know what I did wrong here. Um, <laughs> I'm just saddened, saddened by my mistakes. I know things can spawn in here because we've seen things. Okay, so there's mobs in here then. Lots of zombies. Okay, so mobs can definitely spawn in here. None down in here. It's just a matter of them deciding to walk over here and fall in the in the troths. Um hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to think of this. I don't know. I mean, basically, it seems like I just need to make it ten times bigger so that it can uh, have more and more chances to spawn stuff. But the thing is, I don't want to make this big, huge area just to try to farm Endermen. I think I'd be better off just running around at night in dark areas and hope to see them. And it would probably be more entertaining for video than sitting here waiting on this. So... That's probably what I'm going to do, but this was my attempt at a, I don't know, a big floating penis. <laughs> uh, moving on.